Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Cyril E. King Airport. About to catch a flight out of here to Santa Cruz. Thank you. I came to the airport and I um I went to Seaborn. So they call the flight now to go. There's a plane we leave now. Yeah, that's why I don't think it's safe. To go in the front? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't tell you why you're in shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Morning, morning, morning. Morning. I'm fine. You just have to go down. Oh, thank you. Two emergency exits in the back. You don't know what you enter the door. Car coming to a front. The life jacket is under your seat. Briefing card in the seat pocket in front of you. On my left in the door here there's a fire extinguisher in the likely event of a fire pull the pin anyway to the fire screen to trigger. Turn off all cell phones or put them on airplane mode. Yeah. They got bumpy right today. The weather is not that great. But we'll try to keep them as small as possible. Alright guys, in this trip over to St. Croix, I recognize something very important. It's like the Virgin Islands is kind of like having like a country mentality. If you live in the United States in big cities or whatever, um, down in the islands, it's kind of the same way as living in the country. Because I actually made a mistake and went to the wrong airline and the wrong port. I went to the seaport for Seaborne Airlines. I wasn't the one who booked my ticket, but it actually was with um, Sea Flight. There are two seaplanes that fly in the Virgin, within the Virgin Islands. And uh, I went to the wrong one, but when I noticed that, I was like, oh shucks, and I ended up calling. I actually knew the pilot, he's an instructor, he teaches, gives flying lessons down in St. Thomas. Um, so I'll put the link for him, Mr. Cleo, in the, um, the description below. And I was able to call him and tell him to hold the plane. <laughs> and I was able to get down there in five minutes and make it in time for the plane. They actually were waiting on me. Um, here we are taking off from Sierra Lee King Airport on runway. And uh, I have many hours of flight time in flight simulator. <laughs> Not on a real plane as yet. Hopefully I can get them up and be able to take you guys with me when I do my first solo flight. But uh, this is Lindbergh Bay Beach, actually named in honor of Charles Lindbergh, who was the first person to land a plane on the island of St. Thomas, as far as I know. And uh, that is the same area in which he landed there. Here we are crossing over uh, Water Island. I'll put out also another link for a description of two videos when I went over to Water Island. And we are continuing on our way to St. Croix. Uh, the weather was partly cloudy, uh, you could see on the screen in some cases rain on the windshield of the aircraft and uh, there's even in the next shot that's coming up a rainbow that you would actually see because we were going through. It was not as bumpy as Cleo actually mentioned, as the pilot mentioned it would have been. It was actually a smooth flight. I've been on way bumpier flights so it actually was a real smooth flight going over there uh, so here in this shot depending what you're viewing the video on you can actually see the rainbow in the distance and as soon as we passed through these clouds it was pretty much smooth sailing okay in the bottom right hand corner you can see the rainbow now And as we were rain landing also, there was a little bit of rain, a uh, little bit of rain, but by the time we landed, the rain had stopped and it cleared up and it was, for the most part, a beautiful day. So enjoy the video and I'll be back with you right now. This is the southwestern tip of uh, St. Croix you're seeing right here.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Santa Cruz. my drone I'll show footage of that shortly but this is gonna be the umpteenth time probably over 50th time I'm actually repairing the drone what happened thankfully um, is that this right here is called a gimbal that helps to keep the camera steady the gimbal is mounted on something it's kind of like engine mounts it's some rubber mounts that usually stick up in here and they came out. So I'm about, I've already taken apart the drone for the most part. That's how it looks inside the drone. If you've never seen it. It's the motherboard in here that controls everything. And this is the board here that controls the camera. So I have to reattach this, the mounts to the board up top. Okay, so just to give you guys an update, as for my reason being over in St. Croix, I was a part of a uh, team basically teaching uh, the little kids at the Mombiju Center uh, about our trade, different trades and so forth. I am an IT hardware specialist and uh, I basically was giving the kids a little bit of information on how to build certain things about engineering and so forth. So I had a STEM kit is basically a little tricycle that you could purchase from Amazon um, that we purchased and this is the night before we were having a meeting with our team of four instructors on what we're gonna do for the next day and this is the first time I got my hands on the kit so I wanted to make sure I was knowledgeable in putting the kit together so that the next day I would be able to instruct the kids on how to put the, the kit together this little toy basically works with solar panels as well Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished with our little project over here. A little stem kit, Pika toys, available on Amazon, um, ages eight and up. And this is the remote for it. 
It has batteries. We're going out to get a batteries right now. I gotta get something to clip these here. And I get that. This is basically it right here. I can turn it so you can see it to the light. test trial because I had the gear squeezed in so tight so it wasn't really working but here it goes. 